team is going to have a leadership void from last year because of all the guys that left. You've been around a long time. Does that automatically kind of make you one of the leaders, or, or do, does that kind of thing happen organically, or how, how do you kind of see that you know that role for you? Yes and no. I would say like everyone kind of knows that this is like B Rob and, and Garrison's team. You know, as the as the top two returning guys, and, and they've been the most vocal. And I think Christian and myself are kind of lead by example guys. We're battle tested. We've we've played at this level. Um, we've logged a lot of minutes at this level more than anyone on this team. Um, so I think we can kind of guide the young guys through the preseason process, uh, the grind that is every day, and uh, just kind of speaking on the importance of this next month uh, as the foundation of the rest of the season. So I think that's the that's the important part right now. You mentioned Cole. What uh, What's it like playing with him? It's awesome. It's awesome. He's a great kid. Uh, he works really hard. Uh, and obviously he's a phenomenal player, but I think the like he's just a great great teammate. Talking great to teammate. him, it's hard to believe he's a freshman. He yeah, really, he's really kind of mature, mature isn't he? Years. Yeah, he's really mature beyond his years. He's a seasoned point guard, doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Um, it's just really fun to play with him. How much do you expect to, to contribute on the inside this year? On the inside, like in the post? Mm -hmm. um, you know, to be honest, it's a little up in there. All I know is Coach just said to be ready to play both the three and the four, so I've been learning both positions. Um, I feel comfortable playing the four. Um, I might be a little smaller on that end, but we're going to help um, me on the defensive end, but it's going to create mismatches for us on the offensive end, uh, having me on the perimeter. And I think I can rebound adequately um, uh, for the four, and I'm, I'm athletic enough to kind of be a little bit undersized in that area. So, How much have you seen, uh, I mean, obviously you've seen a lot, what have you seen out of, I guess, Armando? He seems to be a hard worker and yeah. one, of the, one of the faster guys on the team. Yeah, Armando's a, he's a great shot blocker. He's really, really skilled on the inside. I really like playing with him because uh, he can really um, catch. He's got great footwork in the post. So coming off ball screens, you can throw it to him kind of wherever, and he, he's got great hands and, and can finish. Um, but yeah, he's he's going to be a great player. He's going to have a heck of a career here, and he's a really hard worker, which is the most important thing. So you played with another coach who came up through Dean Smith's system. Mm -hmm. Do you see a lot of similarities? Is that helping with the transition? Yeah, honestly, like um, a couple of guys were asking me this the other day, but there there are a few similarities in terms of the practices, the drills we do. Um, we had a practice plan just like here. We had emphasis of the day. A lot of the fast break drills we did at William and Mary were very similar here. So that's there's kind of a comfort factor in that, like knowing that. Not everything is completely new. Obviously, the offenses we, we run are different, but a lot of the defensive principles we did were a little similar. So um, definitely a comfort factor in that. Do you that hear a lot of the same lines? Like, what do you say? Do you hear a lot of the same lines from the coach? Or um, have they both written their own by now? <laughs> Not 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 a ton of the same. They, they were they were both different, but they're both uh, they both demanded a lot from you every day and, and wanted you to be your best every day, which I, I love about both of them. Thanks. As you kind of learn the four a little bit, I guess how much do you look to Garrison, Armando, Sterling to kind of see how Roy wants a big to play? Yeah, uh, Garrison has definitely been great in helping like both me and Armando. Um, because we're both learning it for the first time. Um, and he's obviously played both the four and the five, and he, he's he's one of our leaders, and he's just kind of teaching us the nuances of kind of playing the big at the ACC level and stuff like that. So um, again, I know I'm gonna be probably physically undersized if I, wh whoever matchup I'm, I'm at at the four, but um, offensively, I, I give us something that probably no other big on our team gives us in, in terms of having a three-point shooter, like a very consistent three-point shooter at the four, and um, that'll kind of make up for the limitations on the offensive end, I think. So. Is there a little more put on the four as far as understanding calls and setting up the defense and that stuff? Um, I don't, I haven't, I don't know if that's a fair statement so far. I mean, I'm only a week into practice, but um, definitely it's, it's a little tough to kind of learn because basically the two and the three are the same, and the four and the five are the same. So I'm basically learning four positions. If you can't put it like that. So um, they're definitely different uh, in terms of like knowing where you have to be at each time. But I think I'm picking it up fairly well. How different is the tempo than what you're used to? Because Roy's obviously known yeah. for going fast. It's it's very different. That's been one of the biggest adjustments in terms of every time uh, there's a made basket, we got to go. Like that. That's that's the biggest thing. Um, that's been a big adjustment. But I think. Uh, we're all picking that up really well, and um, we definitely run a lot. I mean, we run a lot, and he demands us to run a lot. So, like, it's it's good though. We all want to play fast. We want to score lots of points. We want to beat teams down for easy buckets. So, um, we're all for it. Thank now, you. Coach Shavers from the Carolina Coach. Yeah. 
So I'm guessing he did a lot of Carolina stuff. Did he, and is that helping you somewhat? Yeah, I, I just, uh, someone earlier asked that too. Yeah, so he, uh, w there's a lot of similarities in terms of practices, in terms of terminology, stuff like that. So uh, that w that's a little bit of a comfort factor, you know, coming out here um, as a new guy and not being completely uh, seeing everything for the first time. Because um, I'm definitely trying to learn a lot right now. Um, but that's a little bit of a comfort factor to have some similarities between the, uh, the styles. So, But the styles obviously are vastly yeah. different because of the talent level? For sure. Too. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, What's the biggest difference? Just pushing the pace? Or? I think in terms of the way we play, yeah, pushing the pace consistently on a, on a uh, every, every, every made basket, that's probably the biggest difference. Um, and then just defensively, um, a couple of our schemes are a little different than at William & Mary, so uh, just picking all that up and, and being in the right spot every time, um, I'm learning a lot and, and they're helping me through it all. So.